Preacher is up and running, peoples. Preacher is up and running. I watched it for the first time last night. <clears throat> I got back from uh, a wedding, uh, and my voice is hoarse. I had such a good time there. I can't even talk. But since <clears throat> I just watched Pre Preacher late last night, I wanted to get the quickest reaction I could. I'm a disaster right now. Uh, partied like I was still 21, and this is the result <clears throat> of doing that, people. <laughs> Once you start getting a little older, I guess. But uh, back to Preacher. God damn. God damn. They got it. They got it. Uh, I, I was so nervous, to be honest with you guys, you know, like a lot of other people and a lot of other critics about the whole Seth Rogen business. But uh, after this, seeing this pilot episode, I'm on board. I'm 100% there. I like where they're going with it. I like the blend of uh, keeping the, the pith of the old characters, but mixing it with a little bit of new plot line. It's not just just taking straight panels out of the comic book kind of thing, you know. Uh, although there is some of that for those of you who like Preacher as much as I do. You probably noticed some of that, some subtle stuff for for the diehard fans, you know, to add an extra layer of enjoyment for us. Little homages here and there to the book. Uh, but what did I like best about Preacher? What did I like best about episode one? I liked that they stuck true to the comic in that the message is not clear yet. <clears throat> they did not try to package this and do an hour long slam bam thank you man episode one. Well maybe some of you who haven't read Preacher think that's what this was but believe me this was not that. There is a lot more to come that they have not touched on just as is in the book. It's going to take a long time for this to develop. Uh, this is not a quick story. This is a very complex story uh, both in terms of the plot and the meaning behind a lot of what's happening. Uh, I'm really curious to see how far they decide to go with the religious implications of this story. That's what I love most about Preacher. The fact that it's a religious message, basically, with against the backdrop of shit, drug, sex, and violence, let's be honest, uh, with a kick-ass male lead makes it sweet. I mean, I'm a sucker for the strong, silent type, you know? Call me a, a a John Wayne type fan, I guess. That, that would be it. Even though John Wayne's probably a bad example, now that we know who John Wayne was as a man. Forget that. Stick with Preacher. <laughs> and uh, I guess I'll leave it at that. I just want to share my excitement. If you guys haven't watched it yet, go ahead. I mean, is it unnecessarily violent? Yes. Uh, is it unnecessarily graphic? with some stuff that's probably about to come up I can, I can get the feeling yes you know there's a lot of uh there's a lot of that but I love how you reverent preacher is and I love uh I love everything about it man that wasn't a very well thought out review if you can tell I'm just uh waking up here trying to recover get back to get back to the grindstone of working but I just had to share my feelings there about preacher God, I love Preacher. All right, guys, later on, later on. Sorry about the voice.